Back in the day, I used to go to record stores on a regular basis. That was in the late 60s and early 70s. I started out with 45s, which had one song per side, and then switched to 33s, which had five to six songs per side. I was still collecting records even as CDs were getting more popular. I believe that nothing beats the quality of these vinyl records, so I decided to preserve them by recording them to my computer. Little did I know what I was getting into. Be forewarned, it is a very time-consuming process, but worth every minute. This set of three videos will show you everything I learned along the way, and they will save you a lot of time and aggravation. Recording from tapes or records is basically a three-step process. First, you need to get the music into the computer, which is covered in this video. Second, you will be cleaning or adjusting the music with software, which we will learn in video two. Third, you will be compressing the music so it takes up less disk space, as well as organizing and maybe cataloging those files, which will be covered in video three. And this is all done on a song-by-song -song basis. No matter which equipment you plan on using, you will need to take into account how much space is available on your desk. Remember, you will be seated at this area for long periods of time. Recording from vinyl or tape is done in real time, so you will want to be comfortable. Is your desk in a common area? You will need a set of comfortable headphones, also a nice comfortable chair. This is a shot of the desk I use at home. Everything I need is easily accessible without feeling cramped. All audio equipment works on the same principle. The components, your turntable, cassette deck, or CD player, all plug into a stereo head, which acts as a preamplifier, or preamp for short. The preamp amplifies the analog signal for playback purposes, but it can also be used for recording on a computer with the right cables. A turntable usually has the RCA cables attached for output. If you do not have a stereo head to act as a preamp, you can purchase a battery operated one from Micro Center or a good electronics store for less than $20. A Y cable, which has two RCA jacks on one end and a mini DIN on the other, will attach to the output of your preamp and plug into the line in of your sound card. The distance between the components and the computer will determine the length of the Y cable. A standalone cassette deck does not have a built-in RCA connection, but has output jacks for an audio patch cable. After that, the setup is the same as using a turntable. The Grace Digital Vinyl Writer Pro for $99 features a USB connection for direct recording to your PC or Mac. It also has an RCA line out to connect to your home stereo. A three-speed turntable that can handle 33, 45, and 78 RPM records. Other features include a one-touch play and stop button, automatic tone arm reset, built-in equalizer, and Audacity recording software. The Crosley Archiver USB turntable at $169.99 is USB enabled for connection to a Windows PC or a Mac. It has a front-loading CD player. This unit is portable audio ready. Simply plug in your portable audio device or MP3 player and you can play it through this unit. Other features include a side-mounted cassette deck, AM-FM radio, and dynamic full-range stereo speakers. Audacity recording software is included with this unit. The Crosley Mahogany Tech turntable at $99 features a USB SD card reader, USB SD card encoding. The belt-driven turntable plays three speeds, 33, 45, and 78 RPM records. It is portable audio ready. Simply plug in your device, 
and play them through this unit. Other features include an LCD display, AM-FM radio, external FM antenna, dynamic full-range stereo speakers, auxiliary input, auxiliary output, a headphone jack, and a wood-style cabinet with a remote control. Audacity recording software is also included with this unit. Although the Crosley Revolution Wireless Turntable will record to a PC or Mac, it is just plain cool. It's a portable battery-operated turntable with an integrated handle. It's USB-enabled for connection to a Windows-based PC or Mac. Its built-in FM transmitter sends a signal to any FM radio. It has a belt-driven turntable mechanism, diamond stylus needle, a manual tone arm, it plays 33 and 45 records only. It has dynamic stereo speaker built in and is powered by six AA batteries. It also includes Audacity recording software.